And this is the NBA Fast Break MPU, and I have abated all of the alkaline corrosion. Had to replace the socket for the 6809, a couple sockets down below there, and a bunch of discrete parts in this area right here. This bare copper has been conformal coated with a 3M product, and here's something interesting. It's booted, and I have it connected on my WPC test rig, which I'm in the process of building. And it seems to have booted fine, and it, of course, it would boot fine. It only needs 5, 12, and ground, but it is driving the display controller. And I had heard this would work, and no kidding, it works. So let me set the date and time since I installed NVRAM into this one. I don't know what the start button is. That's something I need to integrate into my bench here and let's do whoops let's get out of there adjustments standard adjustments let's set up minimum volume override and let's put it on free play Someday I'm going to write a program to run on an Arduino or something that'll do all this. Okay, let me go to tests. I will test switch edges with my Kinetech tester. And you are in the test menu. Oh, good. Here we go. Of course, there's no sound because I don't have a soundboard connected. So all the switch matrix is working fine. NBA Fast Break doesn't use the two rightmost columns. That's why those are blank here. But this MPU with NVRAM installed is good to go. I thank you for sending it.